Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure, man. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Shop and really excited to finally like meet you and, and figure out you know everything you're doing. Predator Cycling, talk to us about Predator Cycling. What inspired you to do this? We're a complete custom carbon fiber bike manufacturer. Gotcha. So we manufacture everything here. We design it here. Yeah. We build it here. Um, we ship them out of here. So everything's made here. I started designing bikes when I was 14. Um, I was actually riding at the Velodrome and I made a cheap comment to another bike company that it's not that hard to design a bike, why don't you come out with a new one? And he said, if it was so easy, why don't you do it? So six months later, I came out with my first bike. Challenge accepted. Yes, challenge accepted. <laughs> um, and we came out with our first bike. And then it kind of just snowballed from there. Five or six years ago, about five years ago, we started making the transition to full composites. Before we were doing all 7,005 series of aluminum frames. Oh, okay. And in the last couple of years, we've been changing even more to making more of our tubing in house, our parts in house, our dropouts in house, our fixtures in house. What is your specialty? Why do people keep coming back to you to to get bikes to to work with you? I, I mean, I used to race, so I got a lot of racing experience. Um, wasn't the best racer in the world, but I raced around the block. Nice. Um, and you know, I also do bike fitting. So I'm a certified fitter. I teach I teach at a bike fit, which is one of the biggest schools. And with that, you know, I have quite a bit of experience with uh, carbon. So you know, we kind of have the racing, the fitting and the carbon background. And the other thing too that we do is that a lot of other companies don't do is we look at a lot of the traditional geometries. We look really closely at you know rake angles and head tube angles and bottom bracket drops and trails and all the kind of old school steel, you know, from the 60s and 70s and 80s that made a bike handle well. We kind of try and bring all that together into one package. It's very similar to how we look at our products and, and one of the products you use which is Fusion 360. Mm -hmm. How did that come into play or what sparked your interest yeah. in, in, in leaning towards our full complete solution rather than how you used to do your, your right. previous workflow? Yeah, I mean one of the big things for us is we're a very small operation so we don't have an engineering team. Um, you know, and the, right here. Right, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's um, yeah, so I mean, you know, we, we need to have a workflow that one works. Your system is designed to go from a sketch to the design to making it into CAM. Yeah. That whole workflow is there. So it's kind of, it's really nice. I mean, we don't have very many problems ever. And then if we do have a problem, it's, you know, there's one tech support to talk to. There's not you know, two or three. Um, you know, I just recently reformatted my home system and within about, I don't know, it took me a minute to download the application file. It took maybe 10 minutes to upload the new Fusion. When I logged in, my entire library is there. Right. Everything's done. Yeah. Um, now with the tools, all the um, all the bits and everything I set up, I can set them up at home. Sometimes when I'm sitting there and I get the tool library of all my parts and my, my uh, end mills that I just bought, right. I can go in there, upload everything in, and it does it. Um, and then now with cloud rendering, I, we haven't used it too much, but I'm excited to see where it's going to go for us. Yeah. Um, at work here, we have some pretty small Intel NUCs, and you know, with these inexpensive computers, we can actually now push out high quality renders. Awesome. Which okay. is, yeah. for a small company like us, we don't have a server farm. We don't have these, you know, ten thousand dollar workstations. You know, so it, it makes it much more flexible for us. Integration is what I'm hearing from you a lot of. The cloud to the to the sketching to the collaboration. Mm -hmm. Now it's that end workflow to where we go from design to to now prototype product. product. Right. How is that experience now with an integrated hand product? It, it's been really great because actually it's, it, it's pretty trippy how smart the software is sometimes. Like I'll make a change in my design, but I didn't. I don't realize that that design is also moved someplace else where I copied it and done the cam work on it. Then I go back to my cam and it's just like, oh, you got like some error, like you know, you have error messages on some thing. But then all I gotta do is regenerate toolpaths. I already did it all. I just regenerate toolpaths, and within five minutes, I'm done. I'm cutting my new my next part again. And then the, the, to be honest, the timeline, the timeline on that bottom. At first, I thought it was so stupid. So yeah. I get it going. What is this? This is like it looks like little animations. I'm like ah. But then like once I started learning, I mean, I've, I've really changed my workflow yeah. with Fusion a lot. Um, at first, it was a little rough but then once I kind of figured out the tool pass and like how everything works and, and the history log and 
you know, the just building stuff in T-Spline more. I, it's pretty awesome. I can just move back and go back, go edit an original T-Spline, come back into a cam, um, to my, my cam, regenerate a tool pack, run it, change it, finish it. With cycling, it's a sense of community. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows everybody. Yep. And, and with us, as we built a product around community, um, how, how has the community been for you with what we offer with Fusion? It's actually been incredible. I mean, I never in a million years would have thought a software company would have been like so integral in our actual product that we're putting out. I mean, you've helped me so much with just the T-spline, making the T-splines work. I mean, even today, you guys played around a little bit with us and showing us how to redesign the bike a little bit to make the software help do what we're trying to do. If you had one thing to say to other CAD users that are kind of looking at Fusion, not sure what to do, mm -hmm. um, or even new CAD users mm -hmm. trying to use Fusion, what would you say? The YouTube channel. Your guys' YouTube channel, check it out, watch it. Yeah. Um, you have to change how you do things a little bit, yeah. um, but instead of trying to do what I first did, was adapting like, okay, I'm gonna do everything in sketches, and then basically just extract everything. Yeah. Uh, push and pull. Mm -hmm. um, Watch the YouTube videos. Check awesome. out how Curtis makes a bicycle on YouTube. And like, you know, I oh, mean, we make designs a, a car. <laughs> I mean, we make a better bike. But uh, so it's great to hear not only Kaching bring about how we've helped you, just not only at Autodesk, but be there as not a vendor, but as more of a, a partnership at the end of the day. And, that, and that's what we're about with Fusion 360. So, our right, thanks again. Signing off from beautiful Santa Monica, California, at Predator Cycling. Check them out. Tweet them as well as Instagram and visit them on their website. Thanks again, guys.